If you're like me and you're tired of seeing the same generic design on websites and social media, then it's time to stand out from the crowd by not using Canva templates and start creating your own original designs from scratch. But how can you create your own designs when you don't even have any designing skill whatsoever? Well, that is exactly what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this video. So if this is something that you're interested in, please come closer and let's dive in. And now to get started, all you have to do is to fire up your Canva and go straight to social media. And then you're going to have templates like this. And we're going to go ahead and select Instagram square, create blank post. So we're going to create a blank, click on create blank. And it's going to open a blank Instagram canvas for us. And now we have a blank page. Now, let me tell you something. We're not entirely going to create anything from scratch, but I'll tell you how to redesign a template and make it look 100% original and not like something that is generic or something that is copied. I see a lot of people share generic designs on their social media pages, especially when it's a brand or business. It doesn't tell good about you because millions of people are using Canva and millions of people are seeing the same templates on Canva. So they can easily tell that a particular design is generic. And sometimes we might not be making sales and we will not know that it's because of the design that we use that is making us not to make sales because most people use Canva and when they come to your page, they are seeing a generic design. They will, they will not take you seriously because if you cannot afford to pay a graphic designer, then what are you doing, right? So you don't need to let people know that you're using Canva to do your design or that you're not using a professional graphic design designer to do your design. It's going to make your brand or business look very, very cheap and you don't want that. So the next thing we're going to do now that we have opened the canvas is to select a template that we're going to work with. So just take your time and pick any template that fits what you want and then we can start from there. For the purpose of this training, I'm just going to go with this. So the first thing you need to do is to delete things like this, delete elements like this. You don't need elements like this in your design and you're going to come here just a little tweak that you're going to do on this and it would look totally different trust me guys so once you delete the elements like stuff like that the next thing you're going to do is to start customizing the colors so we're going to change this color to our brand color and it could be anything so depending on whatever your brand color is you can choose any color of your choice. So you can just go through the color wheel. This is how I pick colors, right? If you don't have a definite brand color. So you can just scrub through the color wheel and find the best color that you can use that will fit your design. You can use the same method to design anything whatsoever. So I'm just using the Instagram post because it's the most popular, but you can use it to do invitation card, complimentary card, and anything you can ever think of, okay? So now we're going to select a color. We're going to just randomly select a color that best fits our design. So we come over here and we do like this. Yep, I think this is good. We can even go to gradient and use something like this. See if you find anything you like. If not, we just stick with the solid color, right? So we're going to work with the solid color instead. So let's pick a solid color, which is this. This is perfect. And then we're going to change this to another color, the white to another color, just to make it look different from the original thing. So we're going to still scrub through. So we'll have to use a bright color, right? A bright color. So we're going to go ahead and still use yellow. So I think yellow will be bright and put it on bold. And then here you turn this one to white, turn this one to white and turn this one to yellow as well and make it bold so that it can be readable. And this one you turn it to white and then this one you turn it to yellow. So just go ahead and mess with the whole colors and have something different, right? So here you're going to delete this and you're going to also delete all these ones here. So we're going to delete all this and maintain this as it is. So the next thing we're going to do is to come over to elements and look for elements that we, that we can use to replace what we had here before. So what you can do is to just go to frames. So go to frames and we we'll have frames now. You go over to the big frame and look for frame that will best fit this. So we can use any frame whatsoever. It could be anything um, depending on what you intend to achieve. We can choose to use this right you can choose to use this and then change the color to yellow right change the color to yellow 
and then bring in a picture yep I like the picture and put it like so so now we'll have the picture and we can have this border we can change the color of this border to this instead so now you can see that it's looking totally different and one more thing we can do is to try and see if we can change this color again to something better so we're going to come over to color and maybe use this same color let's try this uh, i think this this looks a little bit good this looks good yep let's get this exact shade of background so here we have it and the next thing we're going to do is come over here and change this color change this color to this and then turn this one to white so now we have something different right so let's assume you have your logo this is where you throw in your logo so let's select a logo here and put it here so the next thing you're going to do is to customize the write-up and you're good to go you can even decide to sell this as a template and let other people use it if you want to start selling templates so you can actually recreate another template and make it yours and then resell the template to people and make money off of it it's an incredible way to make money online using canva right i'm still going to teach you guys more on that in the coming videos and that is why you have to subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification so that you don't miss new videos when i upload them amazing videos like this so the next thing you need to do to make the design entirely different is by changing the writer so i'm going to go ahead now and make changes to the writer so you come over here and change the bullet points a few moments later so now i've changed the text and you can see is looking very different now if i pull this down and you look at the original template you can see that it's looking entirely different from the original template and that is what we are trying to achieve you do not have to use the original template or templates you find on canva you just put your picture and details i see a lot of people do this a lot and it doesn't look good at all no you don't have to do that all you have to do is to redesign the whole thing just like i've done so let your creativity run wild don't just use canva templates and you know start working with it no you have to redesign the whole thing so you make it entirely different from the template so that anybody that knows the template cannot in any way see your design and associate it with it no it's going to look entirely different like i said before you can use this for any other design that you want to do any type of design you want to do all you have to do is just once you open the, the template you try as much as possible to change a lot of things there and you'll be amazed what you can come up with so you can just retain one thing from the design and then change every other thing just like i've done in this design and talking about canva do you know you can use canva to create 2d animation and this animation you can use it to promote your business or even use it to make money online by doing it for people now if you're interested in that please i recommend that you go watch this video next to learn how you can do just that but if by any chance you have seen this video then youtube recommends that you go watch this one next so that you can learn more digital skills that will help you make money online thank you for watching i am seven finger boss ciao